Hadago, Kusan Fishing Enterprises, Kavema and Komapasatu Investment are all represented by attorney Richard Metcalf. Responding to a worker's petition where the companies stand accused of breaching their recognition agreement with the union, Metcalf indicated that the workers were the guilty party. It is alleged that two of the leaders of the workers' group terminated the employment of about 600 people without notice to the companies. However, Metcalf says some of those who resigned have indicated to the companies that their signatures were forged by the union's representatives. The alleged fraud is being investigated, while those who reportedly resigned will not be paid their salaries for August, nor severance or money owed for untaken leave days. The companies further refused to negotiate with the union, calling for evidence that it still represents the employees in question. Lawyer Metcalf says the union's actions are incompetent and any attempt to hold protests at the fishing company's premises will be met with a restraining order from the High Court. Meanwhile, the union president Daniel Imbili held a press conference where he denied the company's accusations. There is no way that NFI will mislead the masses. NFI approach these workers to assist them and guide them the right way. How to approach, how to approach and how to engage with the government in terms of their grievances. It is disappointing that the company that have HRs, that have directors to fail by honoring the labor law. There were no story of employees or fishermen losing jobs, no. It was only the payment that was not done because they received the resignation from the affected fishermen. That it is their democratic right to express and to say where they want to go to for better benefits. Imbili invited the ministers of fisheries and labor to discuss the issue with the union. Renata Rinkura, NBC News, Valve is